That's beautiful. So that he can be able to perform it at schools. Now that's how you use your music purposely. He's using his music very, very purposely and that's really, really fire. <laughs> What's probably your it's your boy Slick, and we are back with another reaction video. If you're not part of the Slick game, make sure you scroll down below, hit that subscribe button. Why? Why should you just hit the subscribe button? Because we are the littlest gang on the tube. I'm trying to tell you. Don't play yourself. Today, we are checking out something that I asked for in one of the recent videos from Youngster CPT. Wanting to know a little bit more about him. What is his angle what is his purpose what is um just i want to know a little bit of more more about him and you guys recommended me listening to this interview from ebro from nyc gang 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 and i see a couple of other familiar names like shane eagle and sajava which too i also love sajava was on what was it uh either infinity war or endgame and i think it was infinity war uh, they were on the soundtrack for that one and a couple of other movies. And Shane Eagle, of course, if you've been following me for a while, you know I'm a fan of Shane Eagle. So I don't know if they're talking to all three of them right now or what, but this is new to the channel, a little interview. See if you guys like it, see if you don't like it. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section below. Like if you want to react to like 6 ix first Breakfast Club interview, he just got out. He well, no, he's out, not out. He's home right now, under um, um, surveillance and stuff like that. But you know, if you want to see some OG shit, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to do that. That sounds fun. But without further ado, let's get into this one right here. Seventeen to ten Oh, he's out there. So I made a trip down to South Africa. Oh, that's um, Shout out to the whole Apple Music South Africa team for setting it up and getting us access to some of the hottest artists on the scene in hip hop. We're going to be in Joburg, Johannesburg, and we're getting over to Cape Town too. Hopefully, I can find the kid Shane Eagle, my bro Java. I'm the homie youngster CPT. I'll get to meet him and learn. Yo, they was really out there. Like, they was really out there. Look, that's. Damn, y'all should have told me about this earlier. Learn about his whole cultural experience being colored and how that works into the whole South African hip hop scene as well as the cultural scene out here. So, we're going to do some great things for, for music and hip hop with this trip to South Africa, man. Dakota was a leak? Yeah, Dakota was a leak. The Dranks and G. I, I don't, I, till today, we don't know who put it out. I, the opening, it says, It means when I left home, they told me you'll find your brothers on the street. You know, it, 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 meaning that, <clears throat> and it's always like that, actually, whereby you still have your own family, but the people that would look out for you, people that will support you most of the time, it's, it's, it's guys that you'll find in the street. You know, I'm, I'm where I am because of them. You know what I mean? Like, when I introduced you earlier to MT the Husky, you know, I, I, when I met him, he was here in the city, homeless, you know, and that inspired me a lot. In the ch that makes sense, because a lot of people who support me on this channel, for example, I don't know none of y'all niggas. Straight like that. And some of the people who know me, know me, Know my vibe and everything, don't watch my videos. It's very true. Changed my life, and I remember there was a time when everyone was criticizing me. Without making it um, like a xenophobic thing, kids just like see three different African artists come together when everyone else isn't. That's kind of like low-key a message, like, yo. When I heard about you, mm -hmm. I didn't understand. And that's so much why I love collaboration. Collaboration does more things than, than y'all think. It's much more than music. Like I always say, it's for the culture. And even he, even in that situation where he explained it, Shane Eagle saying that, look, when three artists from three, three different places in South Africa fucking get on a song that says something, collaboration is key, I'm trying to tell y'all. You know, these, this aspect, 
But I heard your music. I didn't know what you looked like. Mm -hmm. I just was like, yo, this dude's popping in South Africa. Mm -hmm. Boom. And I was just some dope rap shit. Oh, wow. So he didn't know him. Okay. Growing up in rubber. So I'm real, real, real. So thank it's you. Love, bro. Yeah, man. Blessing the presence. Yeah, of course, man. Touching the kids. It's love. My pleasure. That's fire. This is my first time in South Africa, so I was trying to understand the, the colored experience. The music was adopted very early, uh, like early 80s. They were doing it as well, and they were rapping in Afrikaans. Right. This is before I was born. Right. But because the message was so militant, because it was so aggressive... The, ma the mainstream wasn't covering mainstream it. Mainstream wasn't accepting yeah, it. Mainstream right. wasn't covering it. So a lot of it hasn't been documented. Wow, now, that's Do you feel crazy. like 3T, the album that you dropped this year, goes the deepest of all of your music? Of all my releases, this goes below the surface of what we have experienced. And on the cover, I put my grandfather because I felt like uh, going to my mother's time so I tried to make my music a bit more clean. And in doing so, I also realized you say more. Right. When you leave out some of these profanities, you actually say a lot more in terms of content, right. in terms of value of what you're saying. Like Yati, for example, there's no cursing in it. The Cape of Good Hope, there's no cursing in it. Just be liquor, there's no cursing in it. You know, so I do it strategically knowing that liquor means cool. So if I have a song about being cool, I can perform it at school for kids, right, right. and the teachers won't have a problem with inviting Ooh, me there because they know, like, fire. okay, uh, he has his, you know, edgy tracks, but the shit that he's doing now is clean, right. you know? So I've also done it. That's beautiful. So that he can be able to perform it at schools. Now, that's how you use your music purposely. He's using his music very, very purposely, and that's really, really fire. So now, nah, this helps me learn a lot about Youngster CPT for sure. And I know it's a little different doing a reaction and I'm like quiet looking the whole time. For sure, I'm gonna cut it up. I'm gonna figure it out, I don't know. I wanna, I, I guess I'm gonna just see what you guys think whenever I post it because I know me and I interacting a lot with the camera is pretty pointless, right? Like, Not like purposefully so that I can always stay connected to the youth, you know, so that the, the parents don't like, like outcast me or something. And the parents are actually happy to bring them to the store because when they listen to the album, they're like, shit, this guy's actually saying something. I know my kids at the back here, yeah, but I'm also jamming to this at the same time while I'm driving, you know, so I've had parents even tell me that they really appreciate me going through the Cape of Good Hope and going through VOC, the Voice of the Cape, to almost educate their child in ways that school and them as a parent can't. I'm not going to buy anything, I'm not going to ask anybody for a size, but just to look at it and see it come to life in this way, because last month or two months three months ago this was just a normal block that was there yeah that's what's crazy too that's why i said in the video that i did for colored girls um for color girls this music that he's doing is going to be talked about for a very long time he's he's his his music has longevity but not only longevity he's he's talking again like i said the most positive things and i see his mindset very very clearly now super fire you see ebro doesn't get to talk because you know Real nigga talking. <laughs> and unlively. And now there's so much going here. It's Ebro coming through. We're shooting music videos outside. Yeah. On Saturdays, the block is lit up. So I think for them, it is also some sort of a, a progression that they witnessed, yeah. that they feel that they are part of. And it's crazy. Ah, yes. Yeah. What kind of a king do you want to be? African. This is me, this is my hair, and this is that who song I am. Is beautiful. And that's what I wanted people to feel. Music transcends language, and, 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 and that's what I believe. Do I know that her? Right I now, think I know we her. are being us. In Let me know if I know her, because I think I did a, um, what would you call it on her? Um, the, the jam sessions, the acoustic jam sessions. I think I did one of hers, if that is exactly who I think it is. So let me know. In every shape and form. In every uh -huh. Fire. Very informative. Very, I, I got to know exactly who, what I needed to know about Youngster CPT. 
NCCPT is a straightforward man, knows what the fuck he wants, knows his purpose he's doing with his music, which is why he speaks so much positive stuff in his music, which is, like I said, more people need to hear it. More people out here need to hear it, especially during these times. Like, it would be great for his music to catch on. And that's why I'm so happy for Nasty C, because he could bridge that gap and maybe funnel some music in. But I understand uh, Young CPT's angle and his position for sure a lot better now. A lot better. I do like watching interviews a lot, a lot, a lot. And I know they're going to be quiet and stuff, but if you guys want to, you know, chop it up with me, we can have a conversation about it in the comment section. Please let me know some other interviews that you would like to see some funny ones some serious ones where you learn some shit or you want to teach me some shit that may i may have heard of somebody never heard of this person seen an interview and learned something new i would love to do that you know what i'm saying i would love to do that so just let me know in the comment section below but before you leave make sure you like 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 this video comment down below and let me know more importantly please subscribe 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 peace <laughs> Josh, Josh on a fucking beat.